Hey guys, it's a Friday the 25th of May and this marks the end of the seventh week of the Code Quest. We have already been on it for seven weeks and Blender 2.8 is getting there. I just want to make a, a quick recap of, of the status of Blender 2.8, like a report. Okay, what's what works, what doesn't work? Um, this is not only the seventh week of the Code Quest, it's also the end of the first week of the spring team, the open movie project happening here at the Blender studio, that they're using Blender 2.8 full time now. They started on, on Monday, Tuesday, and it's, it, it's, it's happening. They are <laughs> reporting bugs. Um, bug reporting is not open for like the public, uh, uh, everyone yet, because so many things are broken. So the team here are reporting the bugs one by one. Some of them are um, pretty basic. It's like, okay, animation doesn't work, for example. but Animation works now. The new dependency graph is one of the pillars of Blender 2.8 that it's being tested now. It's enabled by default, so you can animate, you can add a keyframe um, and then go to another frame, add another keyframe and it should, it, yeah, it should work. It works. Uh, modifiers also are working right now. So this monkey here has a soft surf that you can disable. Um, all the modifiers there, for example, let's see, um, there's a mirror, yes, mirror modifier uh, works the way most of them works. Maybe some of the ones in the simulate are the most, uh, the harder ones to tackle, but all of the other ones should work. Um, there is, a, of course, there is still performance to be tweaked and polished, but this is huge. It means that animation can sort of happen <laughs> right now. This plus the or the rest of the Lender 2.8 uh, project is is there. The workspaces are there. The collection system is there. And when you open an old file, you like the collections come. The the layers are non collections. The groups are also collections. Um, the everything's it, the viewport is there. Evie tries to render as much as as close as possible from what cycles it's uh, meant to to render. The new tool system it's. Um, it's there for the, the sidebar and the, the active tools. Um, something that was added today, like a few minutes ago, is that you can now click and drag the um, the 3D cursor to position it. So that's, that's nice. Um, but the rest of the, the spring files open, but I wanted, to go, I wanted to go even further and open an older file that is not even supposed to work. So. Here I have proof that this file hasn't been changed. Look at the the, the date of this file. It's a lighting file from Caminandes 3 from January 2016. So it's more than two years ago, two and a half years ago. And it opens. This is not meant to work. This is gonna crash anytime, but that's the whole point. Let, let's see it crash. I just wanna round out how the older files open uh, right now here in the latest Blender 2.8. So I think I'm gonna just make all one big viewport. The old layer system uh, in this file, it seems I had three layers only because I see that I have three collections. So each one of the layers is equivalent to one collection. Uh, in the first collect, uh, layer, uh, most of the things were, um, where most of the objects were here. Some of them were hidden for the viewport, so it will make an automatic, automatically it will make a collection. Remember, this file was saved with Blender 2. Point, who knows, seven something, six something, two and a half years ago. So this is all automatic. Um, the render visibility is also in a new collection, and then when it was hidden for everything, is also there. Um, the second collection had only the ground and coral and the character, and the third collection had the um, the camera. So it it opens. It even yeah, it even animates. So I, I guess if I enable simplify, it will play slightly faster, just so it doesn't show the the geometry. It's, uh, the subsurf modifier is still not optimized, but no, nothing is optimized yet. <laughs> And uh, ideally, it would use um, Open Sabbath for even faster performance. So let's 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 see how it how it works, how it looks, how it can look with Blender 2.8. So so far so good. I think it could work. Maybe the particles would need some work, but let's see how it looks in Eevee. 
I just changed the render engine to Eevee, it was on Cycles. And this is the Workbench engine, so I can see it in Texture View, I can see it in Solid, I can even apply uh, random colors, which and they are empty, it's not individual, they're duplies. So that's why it takes the whole color for everything. Um, flat lighting, shadows even works, yeah. Then uh, X-ray, X-ray is like a see-through option. So you have um, your uh, mesh and if you want to see through uh, or if you want to see the armatures, for example, um, you can, with the, it's an overlay, but you can also just press set to see through the mesh and see what it's behind. When you're in, in post mode, the uh, set would actually show you the bones that are behind and toggle between the bones that are on top of the mesh and the ones that are behind the mesh. So I think uh, this is a good replacement. When you are in post mode, it's a good replacement for the all the completely going wireframe because if you're animating, you really always need that option. It's gonna come back, don't worry, don't panic, please. Don't give it a thumbs down <laughs> yet to this video. But it's, um, I think this is even because when you're animating, you just wanna see the, the bones, right? You wanna see through. So in this case, it's um, it's nicer. But let, let's actually see it. Let's see Eevee. Let's see how it works. This is shouldn't, okay, it turned out better than expected, yes. The mountains actually don't, don't look too bad. Um, the character is missing here, the, the, the light is missing, so I'm gonna think there is only one lamp, yes, uh, let's select it, yeah, there is only one lamp that, oh, I just moved it and yeah, it just needed update. Cool, it's here. Um, let's see what else, let's see the, without the world, uh, without the world looks nicer, I think the, the world was a bit too strong. Let's see how it, how it looks. This is, oh, that's, that's nice. You see all the keyframes in the timeline, 2.8. Um, let's remove this texture from the background. Ah, yeah, the texture is still not supported properly. So if I make this less intense or this slightly less intense, maybe I need to put it again. Hmm. Still a bit too blue. Let's get let's get rid of that, and let's move the lamp. I want to move the lamp closer so I can see where I'm rotating. And this is a sun lamp. So if I rotate it around, yes, I see the shadow. Nice and the specular here, but it's a bit too diffuse. I think I can make. Um, I can use contact shadows. So at least I see now the contact of the legs right there. And I can make it less soft because it's a sun lamp after all, right? It's not really soft. Nice. And if I see it from the camera view, it even works. Let's rotate it so I get the shadows, the highlights. Nice. And since we are in Eevee, let's turn on things. Uh, okay, stereo, no, but it actually stereo works <laughs> already <laughs> in, in Eevee since for a while. Um, okay, I don't want stereo right now. Um, motion, motion blur even works. Awesome. I mean, this is object motion blur. It's not actual deformation motion blur, but the fact that it works, give me more of this, yes. What else? Well, filmic should work, right? Color management works. So if I change, Yes, it works. And uh, it's using film, film, the old uh, filmic, because this is an old file. Um, volumetrics, does it work? Yes, it works. <laughs> so remember, this file hasn't been tweaked at all for Eevee. This file was made it two and a half years ago with who knows which Blender version for cycles. And I'm testing it in Eevee now. So if I, it, it's crazy, even the volumes work. So this is very promising. I thought I will have to <laughs> remake a lot more than this, um, but it, it turns out pretty, pretty nice. And the performance, it's not too bad. Could be better, of course, but um, 
considering that it hasn't been optimized that much, that the, all the modifiers are working, everything it's it's you know computing at all times. So it's uh, it's getting it's really promising. There's of course UI inter like interface things that need to be tweaked. The tool system has to be also uh, tweaked. Once we have manipulators um, for all kinds of things, for example, if you want to ch rotate the lamp, you can just use a manipulator and move it around. Now the position is a bit crazy, wonky, because it's work in progress. But the idea is you have more tools in the viewport itself. So it's put more things in the viewport, like the energy or the, I think the spot lamp has a, a has a few manipulators there that um, use are used for changing the position and also the cone size. But I think, yeah, okay, the cone works. And let's make it more intense. Shoom. Yes. So this is very encouraging. This is the end of the seventh week for the code quest. But remember, at the beginning, when the collections were different, when the work, when there was no top bar, for example, so workspaces weren't really there. Uh, now there is a status bar at the bottom where we can add more instructions and 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 so many <laughs> things. There has been polishing done in the interface as well. Um, some of the uh, options from the render settings are also here in menus. Um, some of the menus, for example, when you're editing a, a mesh you have quicker access to the vertex edge and face tools, which before they were all in the mesh, they will have to go like mesh and then, uh, or you can also of course, control V, control E, but now they are here. So it's much nicer because we gain space by removing some of the options, moving them around. So of course this is all work in progress, it's far from finished, but it's, it's very promising. Um, the fact that the team of Spring is now using Blender 2.8 all day, every day, is it's gonna it's really making a difference. It's polishing. Um, the pillars, as I said, of Blender 2.8 are there: dependency graph, viewport, the new OpenGL version, uh, scene uh, management, management, and the workspaces and the tool system. All of them are there. They just need polishing, and that takes time that nothing gets done in one day. So uh, for example, many, um, when the header was first removed, we couldn't even make it transparent. Now we can. The overlays, they were all like different buttons. Now they are um, in nice popover, so you can quickly change. Um, you couldn't see through, for example, now you can. You can even have this sort of um, cartoon effect. So. It's very, very promising. I'm very excited when I, whenever I compile Blender every day. You can also try it now because the build bot is back. The guys here, Sergey and Dan, the system administrator, have rewired the entire office, and now the Windows build bot is there. The Linux build bot will be up in um, maybe to the, tomorrow, the day after, in just a few days, and Mac uh, are already running. So it's Pretty awesome, I think, what, what's going on with Blender 2.8. So bear with us. If you see something that you don't like, please leave it in the comments. Of course, the many things that we don't, that we want to, to change and we are changing. This is an ongoing project. This, we are developing in the open. So big probably for other softwares, you don't see this because they, of course, they, they develop closed and, and they spend uh, one year making the changes and then they release it. So this is happening as we, we make every commit and we share it, anything that we do, even if we have the developers right here to share it with the rest of the team, they put it online. If we want to share a design, we put it online. So everything is being developed. Thank you everyone for tuning in. I, this is a bit longer, but I wanted to make a roundup of the status of Blender 2.8 as of the seventh week of the code quest. We have six more weeks to, well, geez, yeah, six, seven more weeks to go. The three months are over. So I think we're at a good point. The production is starting with 2.8, so there will be more polishing, more performance, and the, the little tweaks here and there that always uh, 
sneak in, like for example, the position of the 3D cursors. <laughs> Among other things, that is it for now, and I will see you again very, very soon with some news that our people are waiting for a while. I'm just gonna leave it there. So, go download Blender 2.8. Play with it, don't save production files just in case, make copies, back up your files always, and I'll see you again soon. Ciao!